The score is pretty indicative of the game we played. The stats are pretty indicative of what Army does. Army doesn't do too much. They run the ball. They don't pass the ball. They only had two passes, I think. They didn't complete either of them. They ran the ball. We knew they were going to run the ball. We didn't stop the run. We didn't get off to the outside to contain it and box it back in. Army is a disciplined team. Army does not have the level of players that we have. But also at the same time, the only way our players will be able to be the greatest that they can be is if we play up to our level and don't take anything lightly. I did this press conference last year back in Army at West Point, and I said the same thing I'm going to say now. Discipline is the biggest issue that's on this team right now. And if we don't fix the discipline to do the things that we need to do correctly, we're not going to get anywhere. We'll end up having the same type of season we had last year. We're one and five right now. As Coach said, nobody expects to be one and five. I'm a senior now. I don't get to play Army ever again. This is a team that I, I personally don't like to play, but also at the same time I want to win. I have hats off to everything that they do for our country, but at the same time I want to win this game. I have a friend that plays for Army, so I always just bragging rights and talking and, and different things like that. As far as our team goes, as a leader, as a captain, this is a gut check for me because this means that I need to start stepping up and start calling out the little things that I see on a daily basis that I don't do. There's only so much you can put on the coaches because at the end of the day, they can only drop a scheme and players have to go out there and execute. I'm on the field and I need to hold the rest of our team up to a standard so that we can be able to play the way we should play. With that being said, I'll open up the floor to questions. The first um, couple of drives you guys were doing pretty well defensively and then it really seemed like something shifted. What, what do you attribute that to? What was that like from your end? Um, Army came out and started running a regular offense. We prayed a prayer for the triple option all week. Uh, it shouldn't matter, though, because we play against our offense all the time. We play against a uh, shotgun split back all the time. So, uh, you know, that was something that happened. And, and, you know, the turnovers, they, they, to be honest, they did get out to us and they started to weigh on us heavy. But at the same time, we should have, we have to have, you know, better composure and be able to be stronger in the face of adversity. Because you have adversity in the game of football. That's all the game of football is, adversity. And everything, nothing's going to ever go perfect, no matter how much you want, how much how much you prepare, and how much you want it to go perfect. It's not going to be perfect. So in the beginning, um, our defense just needs to be better. Our defense needs to be able to be better that, okay, offense might have put us in the bad spot, but who cares? Because at the end of the day, we have one goal, and that's to keep their ball out of our end zone. And we didn't do that. Can you talk about maybe fatigue? And you guys were having less than a minute of rest between some of no. the turnovers. We sit up there. You lived in Houston, you know, it's 110 degrees in the summertime, doesn't matter. You run uh, 45 seconds, rest when we do our conditioning, test all the time. We're doing the same type of conditioning there. The fatigue is not something that we can play in this game on. I'm not going to blame it on fatigue. I'll ask you sort of the same question I asked the coach today. Like what's, what's it feel like on the sidelines when suddenly there are three turnovers and you three scores? Um, I mean, it sucks, but at the same time, Football is a game that if you've played football, if you played any type of competitive sports and you are a competitor and you want to win, you realize there's nothing you can do about it. When something happens in the past, you fail a test, you make a mistake or something like that, you can't sit up there and say, let me redo the test. The professor says, no, you got to do better on the next one. So the next opportunity for you to have another test is for you to go out there and go on the next downs and be able to go out there and prove yourself to be able to stop that result from happening again. So at the end of the day, it sucks. Yeah, it's like that initial feeling if you fail a test. At the same time, it's like, okay, I need to work harder. I need to put my mind to the focus. I got to grind more time in the study room to be able to get a better grade. That's exactly what it feels like. So that's what the, the mentality has to be for us to be able to be better.